South Park and meet some friends of mine. Stinky bitches, you that stinky bitches. Stinky, stinky bitches, you that stinky... What the hell are you singing, Cartman? This new song by Alanis Morissette, I can't get it out of my head. Stinky bitches, you that stinky bitches. Hello, children, ready for lunch? Stinky bitches, you that stinky, stinky... Eric, is there a problem? Yeah, I can't get a stupid song out of my head. Stinky bitches by Alanis Morissette? Yeah, stinky, stinky bitches. Children, did you say hi to Mr. Twig? Hi, boys, how are you? When is Mr. Hat coming back? I told you never to say his name in my presence. But we hate Mr. Twig. Mr. Twig sucks. Yeah. It just so happens that Mr. Twig is far more stable than Mr. Hat could ever be, so he's the better puppet now. He'd be better used as a coat rack. <laughs> How dare you! Come on, Mr. Twig. Hello there, children. Hey, Dad. 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 What did you say? He's singing some new hit song. Eric, where did you hear that song? It's all over the place, on the radio, MTV, everywhere. Well, I'll be sodomized on Christmas. What, dude? Children, I wrote that song 20 years ago. You wrote it? Yeah, back when I used to be in the rock business. And now it looks like some big record company has published one of my songs. Wow, then you should get money for it. Oh, I don't want any money. I'd just like to see my name on the credits, that's all. Then we should go to the record company. My dad's a lawyer, dude. He tells me about this stuff all the time. Well, all right. Maybe I will go. I'll play them my version of the song. Stinky bitches, you got those stinky bitches. So you see, stinky Mr. Big bitches, Record Producer, Stinky Bitches was something I wrote several years ago. Hmm, I really see no resemblance between that song and Stinky Bitches by our artist Alanis Morissette. Huh? It's the same goddamn song! Now look, I'm trying to be cool about this, but you can't just rip people's music off. It's against the law. I am above the law! Mr. Chef, I'm afraid you leave me no alternative. We're going to sue you. Sue me? You stole one of my songs, and you're going to sue me? Yes. I suggest you get a real good lawyer. We'll have the best in the business. We'll get my dad to be Chef's lawyer. Yeah, and he's Jewish. Stinky, stinky bitches. Stinky bitches. Mr. Twig, is that you? M Mr. Twig? Ah, Mr. Twig, no! Who did this to you, Mr. Twig? Who? Now, just let me do all the talking, Chef. We're gonna bring these bastards down. Right. This court is now in session. Who is representing the defense? I am, Your Honor, Gerald Broslovsky. And representing the prosecution? I am, Your Honor, Johnny Cochran. <gasps> uh-oh. Why, uh-oh? Chef, that's Johnny Cochran. He he's the guy who got OJ off. Uh-oh. I need some help over here. Please help. I think he's got third degree. Trial of the day. Johnny Cochran has appeared to defend Capitalist Records. The question now is, will Cochran use his famous Chewbacca defense? What's a Chewbacca defense? I don't know. That's what Cochran used in the O.J. Simpson trial. God damn, I hate that Cochran guy. If he was here in front of me, I'd be like, hey, you stupid son of a bitch. You I, I'm going to kick you in the nuts. I'm sure that would scare the hell out of him, Cartman. And so, in summation, ladies and gentlemen of the jury, You've heard the version of my client's song recorded over 20 years ago. You've heard the exact same song produced by these cheats in the past month. I'd say it's pretty much an open and shut case. Make the right decision. Thank you. We got him. Mr. Johnny Cochran, your closing arguments. Ladies and gentlemen of the supposed jury, Chef's attorney would certainly want you to believe that his client wrote Stinky Bridges 10 years ago. And they make a good case. Hell, I almost felt pity myself. But ladies and gentlemen of this supposed jury, I have one final thing I want you to consider. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Chewbacca. Chewbacca is a Wookiee from the planet Kishi, but Chewbacca lives on the planet Endor. Now think about this. That does not make sense. Damn it. What? He's using the Chewbacca defense. Why would a Wookiee, an eight-foot-tall Wookiee, want to live on Endor with a bunch of two-foot-tall Ewoks? That does not make sense. But more importantly, you have to ask yourself, what does this have to do with this case? Nothing. Ladies and gentlemen, it has nothing to do with this case. It does not make sense. Look at me. I'm a lawyer defending a major record company, and I'm talking about Chewbacca. Does that make sense? Ladies and gentlemen, I am not making any... How it works. It's up to the jury to decide. How find you the jury? We find the defendant, Jerome Chef McElroy, guilty as charged. <gasps> Whoops. Whoops. Mr. Chef, you've been found guilty of harassing a major record label. The full fee of $2 million will be handed over within 24 hours. Do I look like I have $2 million? Well, you have 24 hours to find it, or else you'll have to go to jail for 8 million years. It's actually for 4 years. Oh, sorry. You'll go to jail for 4 years. This can't be happening. Oh, no, dude. Chef's gonna go to jail. File 100% free with Turbo Tax Free Edition. Roughly 37% of taxpayers qualify. Form 1040 and limited credits only. See how at TurboTax.com. That's me! It's a brand new exclusive event with all your favorite South Park characters. There's Cartman! I had explosive diarrhea all night! Stan! Dude, school is gonna be so awesome today. Brothers! Oh, hamburgers! And oh my god, they killed Kenny! I like big boobs. How does this even make any sense? It makes perfect sense. I think the problem is you. South Park, joining the Pandaverse, all new. Now streaming exclusively on Paramount Plus. What are you gonna watch next on Paramount Plus? How about more mind-blowing matchups? Breakout blockbuster movies. 
and can't miss must-see shows? Maybe you should ask, what aren't you gonna watch? Let's get into it. It's a mountain of entertainment, and there's always more to see. Paramount Plus, a mountain of entertainment. We broke up. Put single on her profile page, you know? What? <laughs> <laughs>